this is Praxis, and I'm still working on this room here. As you can see, I managed to get a section of the wall up over here, got this all cleaned out. Here's some chips for me kind of chiseling out what was left of the plywood down here. And uh, today I'm working on this section of the wall here. It's going to abut right up to the door. I want to uh, call your attention to the way that I have the header over the door. Uh, this is not a standard construction approach to it. Uh, normally you'd have the kind of the header, which is the, um, the board that goes above the door, kind of notched into the 2x4 that's next to it. That's not really critical here because uh, the whole point of that is if you're going to put a post in the middle, uh, if it's like a load-bearing wall, for structural support, but none of these walls here are load bearing, they're really just all partition walls. So I just kind of throw it up that way because it's less cutting uh, and you know it's, it's easier to do it that way. But I wanted to note that uh, this is unconventional the way that I'm doing it. Uh, what I'm doing now is another unconventional thing is, uh, well I think it's unconventional unfortunately, it should be totally conventional, it's using up scrap, using up waste. Uh, I'm going to be using these duplex nails. Duplex nails are nails that have kind of a double head on them so that you can sink them and they'll hold a board in, but there's still something easy to grab to pull them out. They're used for bracing, and you can see uh, there's still one corner brace up here. I totally could take that out at this point. But there's a corner brace up there that's held in with duplex nails. The duplex nails are something that you use during kind of the framing stage when you're kind of bracing things together and you want to be able to pull them out. Uh, but there's still a nail, and I'm trying to use up the waste uh, so that I don't have to buy as many nails, and also it just it's less stuff to you know throw into a landfill later on. Uh, so far on this entire project, I've had two trash bags full of trash, and that's primarily just been the uh, plastic wrapping that uh, had, you know things have been bundled in, like the, the the windows came in plastic wrap and stuff like that. So it just been, I've had two trash bags full of plastic wrap and some foam scrap. That's all I've had for trash for the entire build so far. That's pretty good. And when I say trash bag, I mean you know your standard size you know trash bag that people would put in like a regular trash bag, uh, trash bin. Um, that's pretty good, I think, uh, on a project like this. Usually people would have a dumpster outside. Uh, you know, we haven't done that. And a lot of that has been due to the fact that I've been taking the, the waste and trying to recycle it into the project. In fact, a lot of the plastic sheeting that we had that covered the lumber went under the floor as a vapor barrier. So uh, we've been trying to reuse as much as we can, and right now I'm using these duplex nails. A bunch of them are kind of, uh, can I get an example? Yeah, a bunch of them are kind of twisted up like that. But it's no big thing at all. Just take them, put them down on the flat surface. Now, um, this isn't the finished floor that you're going to see, so I can do this here. But if you had a finished floor, you wouldn't want to do this because you're going to uh, mark it up. But just take the nail and kind of flatten it out. Mm, so it's roughly straight. And I've got little marks here where these guys need to go in. And. It drives perfectly well. Now, when I set these, I'm going to go beyond the uh, the bottom uh, little flange and drive them all the way in. And this is going to be the uh, the sill and the header of this wall here. So that's what I'm working on today. Just again, trying to use up as much scrap as I can, so there's less waste and it, you know it's cheaper for me if I'm using scrap instead of stuff that I have to buy brand new. But so far, things are going well. Uh, it's a little bit slower because I'm doing half days now, that it, uh, time isn't so critical, the house isn't dripping inside, and I think it's important to spend a little bit more time with River, so I'm not here you know, 24-7 like I have been really over the summer rushing to this point. But slowly but surely, we're getting one little piece thrown at a time, and every day we get a little bit closer to completion. That's it. Thanks for watching.